First though, my next guest is taking over our Saturday nights, presenting the celebrity talent show that has got us all, well, guessing just who are the Masked Singers. I'm Joel Dombitz and I'm basically here to say strap yourselves in because this one is a surreal ride. I've got you. John Bowerman. I don't know who he is, but if I did, I would say that he is fabulous. Mirror, mirror on the wall, don't say it because I know I'm cute. Lew it down to my drawers, LV on all my shoes. If I'm shining, everybody go shine. Joel Domit joins me now. It's the maddest show... It's insane, isn't it? ...I've ever seen. It's so... In a good way! Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's so arresting for the eyes. <laughs> like, imagine, it from my perspective, I was sort of coming back from, you know, I, was, I stood next to, like, a, a huge unicorn hosting, like, a primetime ITV show. I was like, am I still drunk from Christmas? Like, yeah. I'm so... It's so <laughs> bizarre for me. It is, it is. And you really... Do you know? I now know because now we've recorded know. them all, right, but okay. it's uh, it's so secretive. The whole thing is so unbelievably secretive. There's only a handful of people really know, don't Six they? Six producers That's on it. the whole show, and there's probably wow. like 200 people. So how many people a day are coming up to you and saying, tell me, tell me, tell me? Absolutely, you everybody. You're like the fifth today, Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it's I've still never early. held such secrets. <laughs> It's so wonderful. It's good. Tell you what, though, you nearly missed your wedding for this because the yes. dates clashed, didn't they? Yeah. It looked, I... it looked for a while that you would have to make, have to say to your fiance, actually, <laughs> we might have to postpone. My wife could tell. I basically went outside for a phone call with uh, with my agent. <laughs> I hate saying agent, <laughs> but I. Your um, big showbiz, big showbiz. Uh, yeah, so showbiz. I've got an agent, <laughs> and um, uh, they they said oh, they wanted to do the Masked Singer. And so then they, they said, although these are the dates. Yeah. And I sort of came in to the house and I said to my wife, I was like, um, I think I've just been given a really big opportunity, biggest but. of my life, but it's the day of the wedding. And she was, I was like, can we move it? And she was <laughs> like, no. <laughs> and uh, so luckily they managed to sort of slide Great. the Masked Singer back a little bit. Good. So um, basically... Because sort of... that would have been really hard. Yeah. I mean, if it really come to the, if it really come to it, do you know what you would have said? I would, of course, <laughs> picked the wedding. Of course you would. Of course you would. <laughs> it looked like a beautiful wedding. Though. It was so it beautiful. It really did. And we it had... lasted quite a long time, right, to the wee small hours. Oh, we well had done. such a great... It's hard because there's a lot of pressure for it to be the best day of your life, of you know. Course. And I genuinely, good. Lorraine, I was prepared that I was going to sort of be, for the rest of my life, sort of pretending it yeah. was the best day of my life because I've done Bake Off. And so, <laughs> you know, like, so when you've been in the tent, you expect, but honestly, it best was. day of my life. It, looked like, it looks like a blinking advert for the best wedding ever. It looks oh, useful. yeah. What a gorgeous girl. She's a very lovely lady. Well done. We get her. And you know what? She's got a wonderful personality too, Lorraine. Well, that's what's most important. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find. Absolutely. You, you mentioned Bake Off. How was that, though? Was it great fun? So fun, yeah. Brilliant so, cast you've got. Yeah. yeah really it, good. It, it was so stressful. Like, it's was like, it? Because I find it stressful to watch, you see. Sometimes I've got to get up and walk out my own living room. I was so tired. I get to, yeah. You, like, I got back from, like, the, every night you get back, and Hannah was like, this is the most tired I've ever seen you. And I'm like, I've been baking. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, a terrible excuse for being tired. I've been baking all day. It's, uh, it's it was so tough. But oh. honestly, I can now make shortbread. Good man. Hey. Good man. I, I thought you might have brought some in, but you didn't. I'm but sorry. Look, I should have done. I'm, it's too early. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell me about unapologetic, if that's OK. Oh. That's so British. Yes, it so, is. The, so the tour is called Unapologetic. If that's OK. If that's OK. If that's OK. Yeah. And um, it's uh, it's just uh, my new tour. I'm really excited. It's yeah. been so nice to... Obviously, I've had a busy year with The Masked Singer and I'm a celeb and hate tracing things and presenting things and it's been so nice to get back to doing what I love and yeah. doing stand-up and going back into the clubs and working up a new set. Yeah. And uh, I've obviously had like a fun year to talk about, talk about the wedding, talk Great. about what's been going really on. I'm really pleased for you. It's really good. Um, you, you, well, you came across so well in I'm a Slave. You oh, really did. You. You're so likeable and you were just you. Thank you. And people saw that. And it did change your life, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, That's it when really that has. show can really, really change some... It can change people's opinion of someone in a, yeah. in a good or bad way. And it worked so well for you. Yeah, it's been so nice. And I'm, I've just... Uh, uh, I'm so thankful for it, really, and it's so nice to be able to go back every year and host the extra show and sort of just appreciate how how far it's sort of taken me, really. It's great. It's, it's really um, good. I'm really loving it. I'm really excited to 
go back to all the theatres and, uh, yeah, and do stand up. I and just love enjoy. stand up so much. You know, you don't have to have no edits and you don't have to worry about <laughs> TV stuff and producers and things like that. You just you come up with something in your brain, you and say you it out of your face, it. and people like it. Isn't it lovely to have the best in both worlds? Oh, to be yeah. able to do both is, is really, really good. It is. Good. You should do some stand up, Lorraine. I'd be very Oh, great. you'd love it. It'd be so think, great. I think it would be the scariest thing in all of the world. <laughs> <laughs> just take the end. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> just go to, I would love that. Write me some really naughty material. Oh, I would love that. And I'll deliver that. it. Oh, that would be <laughs> maybe, in a, maybe in a mask so nobody would know it was me. Why that's, don't we do that? Why don't we do the mask comedian? The mask comedian. That is an ITV <laughs> show waiting to happen. It really is. <laughs> Late night, <laughs> really Lorraine really doing blue jokes. Oh, I, oh hey. I, I could be unleashed, oh. and that would be very, very good. Be very afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> okay. It is so good to see you. Good it's luck so good with to see everything. You. The Masked Singer obviously continues tomorrow night, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock on ITV. The great thing about the show is for everybody, the whole family can watch it and guess, and it's just like fun. Eight-year-olds love it. Eighty-year-olds love it, for sure. and everyone in between. And it's. Um, Everyone's starting up WhatsApp groups, guessing, and everyone's... It's its so It's like bizarre. a cartoon. It's like a cartoon. It's Honestly, amazing. Honestly, I'm really excited that everyone's Good. as excited about it as I am. It's great. Excellent. Lovely to see you. It's a pleasure to see Thank you, too. You. I'm so glad that you got the show and you got the wedding. Yes. <laughs> you. For you. Thank you.